So at the cornerstone of what I'm attempting to do is create a pattern to create a sense of security, to show safety cues in the way I'm presenting myself and the lack of stimulation that I'm presenting. Uh, and then through creating a sense of security, I'm looking to move forward, to be able to stand up, to be able to look at the dog, to be able to gesture, to be able to walk over to the dog. But every step of the way, like we talked about in the beginning of the webinar, like there's pitfalls and you have to have a good read on the dog. This is also in part an assessment. What pushes, I'm not really trying to walk a tightrope and if the dog goes over, oh, I fucked up and I need to start over. I still don't quite know why the dog bit me in the first 90 seconds other than I looked at the dog and he decided to take a crack at me. I'm still looking at like when you bite the family members, what specifically is it? Is it movement based? Is it something conflict seeking? Is it my fixation that does it? Is it sound? Like minus the stuff that we accomplish here in this session, maybe I kill it, maybe we move forward and the dog starts to make big strides in just this session. I still, the best thing that I can gift the owner is, here's why he's biting people. Here's the specific trigger. Here's the exact stimulus that is causing him to go into a herding instinct, right? So it's okay to let the dog go over. You clearly don't want to drive the dog completely over threshold to where they can't recover. But if you do something, know why the dog took a crack at you so you can look at the owner and go, okay, here it is.